In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. As we do so, we pause for a moment in preparation to call to mind our sins and God's mercy for us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam left Jerusalem, and the prophet Aisha, the Shilamite, met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Aisha took off his new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself. The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I will tear away the kingdom from Solomon's grasp, and I will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David, my servant, and of Jerusalem, and the the city that I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. Our response, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien god. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the hand from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes I would turn my hand. I am the Lord, my God, hear my voice. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears, and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephetha, 
that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Today, as we continue with First Kings, <clears throat> we see it's time for the punishment of David through his son and of whatever shortcoming Solomon had. Uh, the kingdom now will be divided. He won't be in charge of all 12 tribes. Ten of them will, uh, Israel, will go to the north, and the other two, Judah, and of course the Levites to take care of the temple, uh, will remain in Jerusalem. Um, and so this is the beginning of the division. There's always a price to be paid when something goes wrong, and it's our free choice to do that wrong thing. The best way to avoid the punishment is don't do the wrong thing. It's quite simple. And then in the Gospel, Mark's Gospel is all about revealing who Jesus was. He doesn't want them to follow him because he's a magician and can work uh, wonders, but because he's the Son of God and was sent by his Father. That's why they keep, he keeps telling them, don't tell anybody. But he wants to help this, this man. Um, uh, he seems to be very concerned for his, the man's privacy. He takes him off to the side so he's not uh, an object uh, of wonder by the, the people there. Um, and he, he heals them. Both his hearing and his speech are restored. Uh, ironically, today is the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. When back in 1858, our Blessed Mother appeared to Bernadette and uh, you know, spoke to her. In the psalm today, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Well, she was basically saying that uh, to Bernadette. Sometimes the Lord's voice comes through us to others. Sometimes it comes uh, to us from others. We have to be always attentive, you know. We're going to hear whatever our radio is tuned to, our, our personal radio. There's all types of waves going through the church right now. I could pick up any station I want. It depends on what I tune to. Well, who are we tuned to right now? Are we tuned to the right frequency? Um, Bernadette, this uh, we know, had obstacles against her. Nobody would believe her that the Blessed Mother had appeared until finally she said, well, she told me she was the Immaculate Conception. Now, the simple girl couldn't have known that. It had just been declared in the church. And uh, so then Eventually, they built the church, and many people like this man in the gospel have gone there for healing in the past century and a half. Um, Pope John Paul II has declared this a world day of prayer for the sick. Uh, it's sort of a reminder that it is through the suffering. Um, when, we, when we look at the sick and see their suffering and acknowledge that, we're reminded of the suffering and death that Jesus endured for us. And so when we are sick, perhaps we can unite our own suffering, if it can't be taken from us in a complete way, uh, to that of Jesus on the cross, because he gave up everything for us. So there's uh, much to celebrate here as we listen to these readings, as we hear more about God's justice in the first reading, his mercy in the second reading, and the wonderful care that the Blessed Mother continues to bring in the, in the place of her son for each one of us.
us not for our prayers. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all leaders of church and state that they may always have the guidance that they need. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are seeking cures, whether they be physical, mental, emotional, that the Lord may be with them on this feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for an end to violence in our streets, some uh, so close to our own neighborhood here, that the Lord may enable people to talk things through and not turn to violence. We pray to the Lord. For peace in the Ukraine, and that this may not break out into warfare, we pray to the Lord. Many people have asked for our prayers, and so we bring these intentions to God and ask God to help them in the best way possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let's pause for a moment to add our own intentions. For these which are known unto God and for James Hart, whom this Mass is offered for, we pray to the Lord. Lord Hear our prayer today, Lord. We thank you for coming to us in the Word and in the Eucharist to give us strength, strength to face the challenges of our life, to bring us healing, and to enable us to be your faithful people. You are Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of Our Lady of Lourdes. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this bring you into the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us. Receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an, an act of spiritual communion for all those watching from home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.